You're welcome back. This is Newsfile, it's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on Newsfile, we put Ghana first. And my guests who have been assisting us to discuss the most topical issues in the course of the week have been Abdul Malik Kubako, Johnson Esedi Nketia, Clara Berry Kasati, and Kofi Bento. Now, number 12, number 12. Anas Aramiyao Anas, the international undercover journalist, did some work that has, you know, caused a volcanic of, of, of sort, a volcanic eruption of sort in the FIFA, you know, uh, football circles and led FIFA to <coughs> remove many people and sanction many people, not only in Ghana, but outside of Ghana. But here in Ghana, he presented what he said is a dossier, is the body of evidence of acts of wrongdoing and criminality, including fraud, including money laundering, among other things. To Yoko, Attorney General, the police, and I think the BNI, and maybe the special prosecutor also. But how almost a year on, that's not appear anything is going on. So he has begun an online petition seeking signatures to compel action. This is the Attorney General's response. Let's hear her. Um, it comes as a big surprise to me. A big surprise to me because if I recall, the docket came to the this office from the police who investigated the matter in about November, around about 2nd of November, when it came to this office. We then immediately reviewed what was on the docket. We noticed that, for example, the recording was not the original, what people would call the raw recording, but rather an edited version of it. For purposes of prosecution, it raises issues of authenticity if you attempt to rely on portions of a recording. So we had to call for the original recordings, the full tapes of the recordings. I actually have a team of lawyers who look at what we call the high profile cases. This was one of them. So that alone should tell you the importance we attach to the docket of Kesinyantechi. When was the raw recordings uh, given to you? I'm not able to remember, but certainly not in November when the docket came. So it must have been late last year. And then we noticed that one, we needed an update on the statement. Now, because of the directives of the Supreme Court, you have to have the statements of the witnesses. Unfortunately, the key witness in the matter is a deceased partner to Anas. He was a key witness that we were handling. And that's the uh, investigative journalist. The investigative journalist. Journal. Ahmed, the immediate investigative journalist, that Ahmed Hussein Swale. That is correct. That in itself caused a delay. Because of the tragic manner he died also, we didn't think it was decent to persist. And because we thought that we should give them some time to overcome the shock of the unfortunate loss, we waited. Eventually, we got in touch with Anas and told him what we needed. There were recordings in Accra which we did not have with what was sus su submitted late last year. We still don't have it. We also needed him to update their report because they had to put in some of these things. So if you do get all the materials you need, are we likely to see prosecution? We will see prosecution. We have made that decision, but we need to have the full evidence and that may impact on what we have in draft now. I am surprised that the impression is being given that somewhat we are not eager to prosecute. That, in fact, is unfair to this office, particularly because we have been dealing directly with Anas, and he knows the effort we have been putting in and what we are calling for, and the fact that we have indicated what we need to enable us to move on, which he has not supplied to us yet. And there appears to be a clear disconnect somewhere. That, that is what I'll say. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, the Attorney General is right to say they've been dealing directly with Anas. 
and then we're dealing directly with uh with 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 his associates uh, that is right but as to the uh evidence the raw tapes and all that the, the, that is where the issue is there's a disconnect in communication uh, that, that, that is what i can say because uh whatever uh, the authorities require and respect of all the compliments of the recordings have 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 been handed over to the attorney general's office uh indeed after the last call whatever they need to have everything has been handed over the, the stage or the stage at which uh, uh, the processes are now is the recording of witness statements and the like and since uh, ahmed hussein Swali was the star witness uh that took a little tumble but uh, uh that is being worked around and uh, witness statements from other investigators who worked on the matter and associates who worked on the matter are being taken so that is the stage at which it is now but i'll repeat uh as for the video everything uh been handed over but 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 the but the attorney is it that the attorney general is not aware that okay so when did you because attorney general talks in specific reference to meetings that were held in accra that two weeks ago they called and requested that had not been submitted yet when did you submit that particular set of video the evidence that was given to fifa the same evidence that was given to the police cid was given to uh, the attorney general and uh, FIFA went ahead with the evidence that was given to, to it and came with its decision and its conclusions and banned the gentleman for life. But in respect of the attorney general, they came back asking for a video in respect of the meetings that took place in Accra. Uh, when I forwarded these petitions and um, and uh, processes to all these institutions uh, globally. Uh, as for the meeting that took place in Accra, the premium on it is, is not that germane in my estimation. But the Attorney General well, has I'm to coming, make a I'm decision there, that. I'm coming yeah. there. I'm coming there. And uh, it was it was my firm belief that. Uh, as the state institutions could go ahead with the raw and cut video and, uh, that, uh, of the meeting that took place in Dubai. And so when the Attorney General says that they want that part of the meeting, in, in my estimation, and I'll say it anyway, in my estimation, that, that is not really genuine. You can still go ahead without it. Mm. But that is the Attorney General of the land. Attorney General says yes. Okay. It, it, so this specific Accra meeting has also been handed uh, over. Yes, yes, yes. As everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Just to check, when was this handed over? Because Attorney General so puts right, it right up. You know, they deal directly. They deal directly with Anas and his associates, and and and, 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 and indeed, even on the day that uh, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed was killed, even on that day, he spent about three to four hours in the Attorney General's office on on this matter uh, you see as, as as a star witness so it's a direct meeting and so when they want things from tiger eye and us they call directly reasonably immediately afterwards right so you heard the honorable attorney general and minister for justice gloria kufu speaking to the bbc and explaining matters there and uh, Kisie Jabing, who is lawyer for the Tiger Eye, uh, confirming portions of that interview as being accurate and understanding the situation, but having also uh, concerns about how the matter has been dealt with so far. Begin with you, Kweku. Um, Predictable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you follow? There are those who say, what's the point for a, of a petition by a nurse online asking for some pressure to be brought? Is it that he wants for his matter to be giving special attention than how things are done, you know, in the normal course or what? 
Yeah, that's, those are legitimate questions to raise. And I'm sure uh, an ask may be listening or watching this program. Uh, I have raised the same matter with him, and I'm being very candid. If I'd had prior notice that there was going to be this online petition, I would have advised against it. And I've told him that. Okay. But I didn't have prior notice. And the, you know that online thing that Jesu and us, it's a collaborative effort between Tiger Eye and Clarity. It's a Swedish technical uh, technology company. It's a reflection of a certain frustration within Tiger Eye that this thing is so slow paced, not much is going on and things. So they reacted that we sentimentally understand them, but strictly speaking, I think that particular online petition could have been uh, shared. That's my opinion. I've told him this in private. I don't mind. I know he wouldn't mind me saying so publicly. That apparently is what has triggered the, the shadow boxing between people who come from the same corner in terms of prosecution and everything, they are working together. Mm. The AG's office and Tiger Eye have been working together. And as indicated, that the day Ahmed was assassinated callously by unknown assassins, he had just finished collaborating with the AG's office over a period of time. So they, they, are, they are two allies, they are allies in one corner. That's where the focus should be. And I can say on authority too, that whatever the AG's office needs has been delivered. <laughs> that, I'm clear in my mind, has been delivered. You see, but it's AG who takes the decision to prosecute or not to prosecute, bottom line. She says there will be prosecution. Which she's gone ahead. There she's will be. Yes, yeah, I mean, she's yeah. been preempted, but I'm talking of the principle, mm -hmm. the law. It is the AG that decides whether to prosecute or not. I was just making that general statement. Right. Even though she's gone ahead to tell us there will Crime be... Crime has no expiry. Yes, but in any case, she doesn't pronounce judgment. It's the court that will pronounce judgment. So, agreed. But the two entities are working together. In the last three, four days, with all the shadow boxing, all the noise, quote-unquote, you hear on air, and the, uh, the responses by Tiger, you'll be surprised that they are working together. They are updating the witness uh, statement. It's going on. The AG's office and Tiger are working as I speak to you. <laughs> so my view was that, just like I said on the Electoral Commission thing, that you see, sometimes it's not the publicity per se that is important. If you do it, do it in a certain way. I have to keep my principle, my view, the two sides. Forget the petition online, which I think was needless, in my candid opinion, whether as a pressure uh, uh, tactics or not. Focus on the issue. They are cooperating. They are working together. Shortly after the petition was put up, by Thursday, you had almost 2,000 people signing. And you are saying, you know, no. you think it's not important? The, the Attorney General has just told you that there will be prosecution. Yes. It be just slow, slow motion. Tiger and his allies thought it's too slow motion. So let's push. My view is that petition or no petition, the prosecution will take place. You see, you are a lawyer. And as to is a lawyer. I'm a layman, but I'm a, a very critical observer of judicial proceedings. There are cases that sometimes take years. And so I'm, I'm comfortable with the pace at which he's going, okay. as long as I know that they are working together. The CID, okay. as you indicated, the CID brought a docket. Mm. The docket was reviewed and sent back for some improvement. So there's a process. If I was minded, if I had information that there is an attempt to abort even the process for whatever reason, unless it's purely uh, legal opinion, if it's political, I'll react. Okay. But right now, mm. there's no cause for alarm, okay. in my candid opinion. Right. Now, Mr. Johnson, don't you think that people are not being unnecessarily in a hurry or unfair? And I'm saying, shortly after the petition was put up, 
by Thursday or so, you had 1,800 people signing onto it. At this morning, I don't know. And as we'll be listening, let's send me a message. Let me check how many have signed on to so far. Doesn't that tell you that they don't seem to trust that, you know, the state will do something? I agree with you. I thought you asked the lawyers to speak first on this matter before I come. I, I thought so too. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, my candid opinion, I'm a layman, I'm power and tapper. My candid opinion is that nothing will happen to uh, the gentleman, Kwesi Nyantachi. Justice, I see you get here. Because I said this the day he was picked up by the CID. I said that this is just a storm in the teapot. Nothing will happen. And I hope I can be proven wrong. Because you see, hmm. listening to whatever uh, has been captured in the video and so on, it gives the impression of Kwasin Yantachi as a very well politically connected person. So if you have such a person, the challenge in fighting corruption has always been, I mean, dealing with uh, somebody who is connected with a particular government in power. It is not about dealing with your opponents. As for that one, everybody can do it. But the real challenge is the political courage to deal with your own. And I thought that was the, the, the reasoning behind the establishment of the, uh, you know, this office. Uh, special prosecutor. Special prosecutor's office. And I thought this could have been a very classical case for special prosecutor to... What demonstration evidence to, are you to, looking to go for? In. We, we were told, even though people have criticized that, that is the president who actually made a complaint and he got arrested. So if you have commitment from the top, <laughs> what is your doubt? <laughs> you see, these are lawyers, they know how to destroy cases. Oh. If, you, <laughs> if you charge the person oh. with the wrong, <laughs> with, 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 with the wrong charge, he can just go to court and walk away free. If you make the arrest at the wrong time and under the wrong circumstances, you are actually not punishing the person, you are aiding him to get away with what he has done. So the fact that somebody uh, reports a case and so on, uh, it's, it's, it's not the issue at all. I raised that issue because I had a problem. I think I had a banter with Koku on radio somewhere that mm. I didn't think that the video should have been shown to the president at all before the airing. But he disagreed with me and, and other, other people. So I still hold the belief that nothing will happen to that uh, young man because uh, he leaves the impression that he's well uh, uh, connected. And if he's well connected, I'm yet to see how the same uh, group now, are you will be saying able to nothing will happen him. to him in court or nothing Even will by way of prosecution, uh -huh. this thing will just delay and so on. So I, I support Anas's uh, petition. Uh, petition, and uh, right from here, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to find a way of signing <laughs> signing it <laughs> because you know <laughs> pressure from civil society, the ordinary citizens, also help politicians to sit up. You understand? So um, I hope I can be proven wrong, but all these issues about. Uh, uh, lack of evidence, wrong procedures, and so on, that has uh, filled the airwaves. I thought that when uh, the president was campaigning to become president, he made a definitive statement that he will fight corruption. And even included that he will use the Anas way of fighting corruption. The same Anas is there. Mm. The laws haven't changed. Okay. And so, and there is an uh, Anas report. Work on it, and there is feet dragging. So I, I want to urge them on to prove me wrong mm. that they will deal with this. They, uh, they will deal with this matter because, from 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 the point of view of a layman, 
There are issues raised about money laundering. There are issues raised about the possibility of compromising the presidency. These are all there. What are we doing about it? Even beyond prosecution, what are we doing about it to, 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 to demonstrate that it is not possible to have access to the president upon payment of money? We've done nothing about that. So okay. let's, let's leave it there. Maybe the lawyers can, can add. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Kofi? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, question is those who may not know how the judicial process or the law work, are they wrong or they are not when they say that the same evidence Anas presented to institutions of the state in Ghana? He presented to FIFA at the last check dozens have lost their job as a result of the petition to FIFA including Mr. Yantichi himself they are suffering sanctions he has a live ban time ban correct so what's going on they expect that the same thing will be replicated in Ghana and that expectation is not well founded um, with all due respect, um, FIFA can take the decisions they took because they are not acting on the basis of criminal law. They are acting on the basis of their ethical standards. And those are very loose arrangements. And indeed, they can do whatever they want to do as long as within that fraternity, this is how it is done. But if you bring the person before a court and you have to prove beyond reasonable doubt that they committed a specified written crime, which has ingredients that have to be proven. It's a totally different ballgame. Then having evidence, we talked about the evidence has been given them. You receive evidence and you process evidence. And you even decide how you are going to use it, when you are going to use it, who should introduce the it. The Attorney General says it's a team of experts who have processed yeah. the evidence and there will be prosecutions. Yeah. Except that they must complete what they began. Which is Koku the point. and Tiger Eye. Koku agrees with Tiger Eye that there's nothing more to bring. In addition, everything you need has been supplied. Which is why this is a sad situation, OK? Sad because, like Koku has said, it's a storm in a teacup. And what has gone on will give the public a different opinion. But let me say this. Look, the persons involved in this, lawyer Kisie Jabe, Madam Gloria Kufu, are some of the finest lawyers in this country, Kisi taught me criminal law. And I'm saying this to the effect that he knows exactly what he's talking about. And he understands the job of Madame Gloria Kufu. Madame Gloria Kufu is one of my heroes in law. She can do no wrong in my eyes. OK? She's a very diligent person. And I think we will agree that the process is ongoing. OK? Look, like I said, evidence has to be processed. There is clear evidence to me of eagerness to prosecute. And sometimes I think it's even beyond what should be. Because, for instance, Madame Gloria Kufu says the decision to prosecute has been made. There will be prosecution. <coughs> Meanwhile, she's processing evidence. Sometimes you would think that maybe she should have processed the evidence first before she makes the decision. Yeah. But it shows you that there is a certain eagerness to go on to this issue. She has a whole team working on this. And if you listen to the two of them, in fact, at a point, I think, um, like you said, Jamie was saying that he also thinks that they need to get together. And Kweku, I'm happy he has said that, look, today they, they are, are working. working. Yeah. Today they are working. So, hey, it looks one way. But let me simply say this. When you put somebody in front of a judge and you want to take the person's God-given liberty from them under the rule of law, that bar is extremely high. Okay. And I think the parties involved understand, so we yeah. should all be patient. Okay. What will Clara say about the perception also? No, for, for I think for me what was critical was whether the decision has been made. We, as we all know, by law, is the Attorney General who decides whether to prosecute or not to prosecute. And where the Attorney General decides to prosecute, it must be based on a conviction that a crime has been committed. So a, 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 an Attorney General just cannot get up and go to court when you are not convinced that a crime has been committed. You first have to satisfy yourself yeah. that a crime has been committed. And then after that, that is at, it is at that stage that you take the decision that 
I want to prosecute or we are going to prosecute. And once you now, after taking that decision, you mount your evidence because you have a burden to go and prove to the court beyond reasonable doubt. And, and like has, as has been said already, it's a very high bar. You have to, so you have to mount your evidence, you have to assemble your witnesses, and then you are sure that, okay, you are ready to go to court and you go. So uh, after listening to the Attorney General, I think she has already decided that she's going to prosecute, which means that she is satisfied that a crime has been committed. And she is convinced that a crime has been committed, for which reason she will go to court. I think the, the, what I find quite interesting is what was seemed to be a banter between give us more evidence, we have given you more evidence. We have given you all the evidence. Mm -hmm. Because if all the evidence has been given, there's nothing to wait for. Mm. Maybe bureaucratic processing. OK. Trapped so trapped yeah. <laughs> because she didn't say that they were processing, they were still processing. She said that they had not been given yeah. the, the, the evidence. And so. Anna says that they have been given the evidence. With respect to the online um, petition. No, she speaks about some extra thing, Accra, material Accra. they need. But Accra Anna says Accra everything Accra. has been given. Right. If, if I get that, yes. So. Yeah. Everything has been given. So, so if everything has been given, I think after processing, then we'll see, we see what happens. So we, we just wait. But I'm not surprised about the online petition because I think it's consistent with Anas' uh, mantra to name, uh, name shame and jail. jail. So this is consistent. I remember even with the judge's case, he was putting pressure for prosecution. So I think this is him. Yeah. Um, um, he's he's probably, I don't yeah. know anybody more tenacious than Anas. Yeah. He wasn't this, done yesterday. This, but yes, I think yes. we will all be patient. Yes, so yes. I'm okay. okay. not a lawyer, but a small thing. If evidence is yet to be processed, on what basis did the Attorney General make the she's decision? She's convinced that she's seen crime. enough. Yes, yeah, she's uh, seen enough. But, but she has to arrange herself. Full complement, perhaps. Well, it's like you have a room full of things. Speculate. Okay, do your, <laughs> do your law. <laughs> <laughs> no, let, let this be clear. General, general that, was so, so, so Clara, <laughs> Clara as, as a lawyer, mm -hmm. when you, you engage a client, mm -hmm. are you able to take just prima facie conversation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and upon that make a decision positive give a give an opinion which is positive to the client that you are right or you are wrong even before they have to bring you extra material that you require no as 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 lawyers we don't determine whether you are right or wrong we determine whether you have a course of action okay and then once we are convinced you have a cause of action, which is that you have a legitimate case, mm -hmm. so we can go to court. Yeah. So yes, you can, after interacting with the, the client, once you know the facts, you are able to tell whether there's a cause of action or there is no cause of action. So the attorney general can say what she said? Yes. That's, I, 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 I can't say yes or no because I don't have access to the evidence that she has. But once she has made that determination, I assume or I presume that she has the evidence that has been provided to her. She has analyzed the evidence and she is convinced mm -hmm. that a crime has been committed. It's totally within her domain. Okay. I can't say whether it's right or wrong because I don't have access to the information that she has. Will there be a contradiction has. then that she for? asks for more? <laughs> Maybe watertight. No, she wears a watertight. Not, not, not yeah. necess there won't be a contradiction that she's asking more because once you have made a, 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 you are convinced that a crime has been committed, remember that your next step is to go to court and prove before an impartial judge. Mm -hmm. but look, so you may want more evidence. You might be looking for more evidence, okay, and even the witnesses you want to know. <laughs> so it is possible you have taken the decision and you still require and truly, more look, evidence to said, assemble I'm before I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, 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 the judge. Yes. Going to say execution. Yes. Assassination, Assassination. Yes. Mm -hmm. also hampered. Yeah. Yes. She said that. Was a she said it. Witness. She yes. and it's true. That was a material And she's witness. giving a background that, yeah. and we now understand, he had been to yes, that's it. assist them in the process. Yeah. Yeah. The same, the same day, day he was uh, day. Yeah. assassinated. Okay. You have a key okay. witness See, gone. The nature you need to replace that cases. key witness. Take it this so way. So the witness statement, he was doing it. Okay. With him gone, somebody else exactly. has taken it. Exactly. You need another date. witness, okay. yes. And you need to but, find but, out how but this Ahmed, key witness... But, uh, that's another matter. But it's Ahmed a, was, yeah, the, see, was sort of the lead person yes, in this. Exactly. Yes. And was dealing with the AG's office yes, consistently yes. over yes. 10 days before he was killed. Yes. And the day he was killed, he was... He was there. Samson, so you can <laughs> do good soup with 100 cities. But if you are given 200 cities, you can be assured that the soup you will do will win a world title. Mm. Okay. So it's just part of the whole process to make sure this thing is done. I think we should let them do their work. Okay. Yeah. They should focus. Yes. yes. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. So many have decided to rather comment about the 
by RTI and the voters register. The voters register it seems to be the most important matter for many people. And um, Francis Aban says that uh, from all indications, I guess all citizens expect uh, from the leadership of the political parties, political parties and the electoral commission, what they expect is utmost use of emotional intelligence. Every decision and utterance must move positively yeah. to build our democracy. Anything yes. less than this will Good undermine summary. what we have built in the Fourth Republic. Good summary. And then uh, Kakra, someone may be giving us a certain perspective that we may be losing. I, we need to uh, study that. He says, in my candid opinion, no voters register can be derived from any other identification document. Articles 42 and 45A of the Constitution clearly establish that the register is a separate document which alone must entitle one to vote. But no, we well, make the laws. No, He's no, looking no, at no, the no, no, but this is not when a good thing. When we say no, when we say it doesn't mean that you, d you use the, you, it is the NIA mm. database that determines whether you vote or not. Okay. Because, of course, the NIA database doesn't con uh, constitute your, your district, your constituents, and we have district, okay. now we have okay. district elections, okay. we have MPs. But okay. when we say derive, it means right. that from there we can check the, the documents. Mm. Because MPs. when you are going to register, yes. you okay. need a, a, an identification document. Mm. We can use right. check important. the information. So it's not really. The Electoral Commission shall compile a letter. I give compile. the definition of compile, okay. which is to extract from exactly. somewhere. Right. That's Thank you. Thank is. you very much. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. We can't uh, see what we can do about the uh, chaotic calm at the University of Education, but we should deal with that uh, next time and exhaustively. Uh, we have some documentations, including from the EO code that we shall share with you, uh, app okay. apparently exonerating all those people who were accused earlier for really? doing wrong, including Professor Avoke. Interesting. Uh, my guest, Abdin Abdul Malik Wekubako, uh, John Sinesia Dunketia, General Secretary of the NDC, Clara Berry Kasati is lawyer, lecturer, uh, Gimpa, and Kofi Bento is Senior Vice President, Imani Africa. As I told you earlier, an invitation was extended to the government and MPP for a representative, but the invitation was not honored. Thank you. Have a good oh, afternoon. Interesting. My outfit, as always, by Latida. Because on social media. Mm -hmm.